Welcome to Chargers Unleashed. Dan Wolkenstein here with you from the LA Football Network. We had an awesome, awesome weekend. We had a chance to go down to San Diego, Paradise Point, and Mission Beach to hang out for Tailgate the Bay fundraising event put on by Rock Solid Sports Memorabilia. And boy, San Diego and Chargers fans showed out. There were easy four or 500 Chargers fans tailgating, good vibes, good food. And the best part was the fundraising event for everything that was purchased and or signed. Two backpacks full of school supplies were donated to children for this upcoming school year. Alohi Gilman, Cornelius Johnson, Rashawn Slater were all there. And we had a chance to connect with them after each of their signing events, meet and greets. They took photos. All kinds of things were signed. The line was crazy for each of these players. And they felt the Chargers fans. And we talked about it with all of them. And on this episode, Jake was fortunate enough to connect with Rashawn Slater about the upcoming season. We were able to talk about this team's ability to run the ball, the importance of the offensive line, what it means to Rashawn Slater, the expectations for this upcoming season. So much was discussed. Jake and Rashawn Slater had a few minutes to talk about this upcoming season, this Chargers team. Jake Hefner and Rashawn Slater coming up next on Chargers Unleashed. It's Unleashed here with Chargers left tackle Rashawn Slater, who just finished up a huge event down here at the tailgate by the Bay. Rashawn, what do you think of this event? Chargers faithful out here in force. This is incredible. I, uh, I'm blown away. You know, it's packed. You know, you can feel the excitement. I think everyone's super excited for the season, and, and we are too. So it's, it's special to be a part of it. Speaking of getting excited for the season, football's almost back and everybody's clamoring for it. Since minicamps, OTAs took place, what is it that you and the rest of the team has kind of been just taking this as the mantra? What have you guys been working on specifically as we care for training camp? Man, I think just uh, the way the way that we've been approaching this whole offseason, I think it's been incredibly consistent. You know, just a highly detailed approach. You know, every day when we're in the building, just the attention to detail has been very high. And so I think uh, I think that's the biggest thing, man. We're just doing it the right way. Nothing flashy, but uh, I'm very excited. I wanted to talk to you because now in just a single season, essentially you're the veteran of this offensive line group as far as being the most tenured. Yeah. How does it feel just in with everything that's changed with this franchise since January to now that now you have a head coach and a GM who are so emphasized on building the offensive line? I wanted to get your thoughts on that. It's special. You know, that's uh, as as lineman, you love it, but uh, I, I truly believe that's the way football needs to be built. A football team, you know, it goes as the trenches go. That's that's always been the mantra. So I think uh, I mean it shows a lot that they invest so much in the O line, the D line, and you um, know we just we just put that on our shoulder, and you know we know we gotta go out there and compete. And I love it. Fires me up. And now with those changes, now also come some changes on the coaching staff. You've got Mike Devlin, and now you got some Chargers legacy with Nick Hardwick in there as well. How's the coaching banter between been between them and the crew? It's been great. Uh, uh, Devlin's, you know, he's <clears throat> more old school guy. Hardwick, a little younger. Uh, so their energy really uh, it kind of feeds off each other. So we've got a really good dynamic there. They're both excellent. I really enjoyed working with them in OTAs. And- it's going to be a great year with him. Obviously, big man on the opposite side of you, Joe Alt. Thus far, what have you seen from him in OTAs, minicamp? How's everything been coming along for him? He looks good. He looks great, actually. Uh, I think he's going to be a hell of a player. I think he's like the tallest person in the league, officially. But uh, when you watch him play, the way he can bend and move, it's like uh, he's like the lowest guy on the line, which I think is uh, shows a lot about his skills. So I'm, I'm very excited for him. We talked about last year, actually, the development of Trey, because he had a really good year two years ago. You think that him shifting into guard is going to benefit him because he's so out, he has more of those athletic abilities that you want from an offensive lineman. How has that change been for him, and just how is the offensive line kind of coming together? Yeah, I think it's been great. I mean, he, the way he approached the whole thing, like he just he just went straight to work. He didn't even bat an eye. And knowing Trey, I know he's gonna he's gonna do a great job. I think you know the tackle skills translate inside very well. He's used to to, to quickness. And uh, he's got power, so I think he's going to do very well, and I'm excited to watch him work. If you were to say one thing about Greg Roman and the emphasis on power, running the ball, any changes that you've seen with the pass regimes as far as what the scheme is going to be, how they're going about attacking it, as a player, how has that been received? Has, has it been just a drastic change, or has it just been everything that it just say, hey, we know what the goal is, this is our mission, this is how we're going to attack it? I think we've uh, we put a lot of work in already into just establishing our identity as an offense, and um, obviously we haven't put pads on yet, but 
you can kind of tell just the way that we the way that we're processing things and going about our business we know we want to run the football and uh that's very exciting for us we love that so um you know as an old lineman we're kind of running some of the same plays some minor variations but just the way we do it it's going to be physical and uh, everyone's bought in it's going to be awesome last two questions days away from opening a training camp now what are you most looking forward to because we see harba out there with new drills new mentality what are you looking forward to when we get training camp going i'm just looking forward to getting with the guys and competing you know, that's that's what it's all about i think we all have a bad taste in our mouth after last year and i think uh, we're all hungry it's just want to work you spent the afternoon signing jerseys, signing pictures, signing helmets, signing other items here. Might you be signing another piece of documentation in the near future? Uh, we'll see. You know, that's uh, that's up to uh, the Chargers and all that. But um, I'm just excited for this opportunity to come play this season, and it's going to be awesome. Chargers left tackle, Rashawn Slater. Chargers released. Thank you so much for the time. This was great. Rashawn, good luck to you this season. Thank you. Appreciate it.